Intense, hey, welcome in. And everybody that's over on TikTok, hi, welcome in. Uh, so today we're actually doing a Star Wars fan game called Death Troopers. And what it is, it's based off of the zombie novels in the Star Wars universe. Um, Red Harvest, Surprise, motherfucker. Red Harvest, and then Death Troopers, the actual novel. Um, it kind of has like a, like, um, Dead Spacey kind of vibe. But the reason why I'm not loaded into the game is because, like, it just goes, like, directly into, um, the game. Like, there's no menu, there's no pause, there's no adjustment for volume. So I'm probably gonna have to, like, at certain intervals, like, just adjust the volume. Just to make sure that my voice is, like, on key with, uh, the game volume. But with that out of the way, here we go. Oh, come on, man, really? Okay, why is it not? There we go. Okay, the game audio seems fucking loud, for one thing. The second thing is, his voice seems very, uh, like text-to-speech generated, in a way. There's blood everywhere. Something serious has happened. I proceed to inspect the corridors. Pack, good seeing you. How's your day going? No, you think like one lone like stormtrooper though like goes in sees like everybody's massacred there's blood everywhere like it looks like a horror movie you think like he would just nope right out of there but no um how's my audio doing so far like compared to like my voice to like the game but no for those watching over on uh TikTok. We're actually doing Star Wars Death Troopers over on Twitch. Shoot. Oh, it's not letting me shoot. Um. Well. Might be SOL. I don't know why my camera keeps doing that. You're louder than the game. Okay. 
because I know like just um the chorus just for like the uh the music was like a lot <laughs> when I was trying to like go back through and like fix things. Give me one second to fix the camera though. There we go. Should be fine now. Yeah, that's gonna be a big nope. Oh, so I have five minutes to survive. Okay. How are you doing? I'm doing better. Um, found out like the tail end of like being sick. Okay, the fact that this is like a fan-made game and one dude created this whole thing is kind of amazing. And it's an Unreal Five, and it's free. But no, zombies are canon in Star Wars, if you didn't know that. That's good. Definitely good. Why the fuck won't you die? Again. Like the only stormtrooper that can aim. Odin, how are you doing tonight? I love that they're just like stuck in the wall. <laughs> but no, I think something that's like to the horror effect is the fact that like the chrom chromatic abrasion mixed with the like the vignette on the side, and then also like the VHS like kind of like um tapered like reading lines at the bottom okay why do zombies from here just die instantly but these guys just like takes a hot minute Watch, I'm gonna just sit here for a, like a minute and there's gonna be one that just like pops up behind me and like eats my face. Murder. But no, I also found out there's a second game literally 10 minutes before the stream and I installed that one as well. Made by the same dude. Oh, Odin, thank you for the biddies. I love that zombie is just like, just glitching through. Like he is not having a good time. Hi, I'm Scruffy. I'm the only stormtrooper that can aim.
don't know where that zombie's going, but he's like going towards the other crowd while they're all coming towards me. Okay, 20 seconds. We got this. Totally got this. Watch, there's gonna be like a bigger zombie that just pops out of like nowhere. Like a Jedi zombie. Me and Sick today uh, went on Twitter. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that, that that's not a good thing. Wait, what? What happened? They stop moving though. I mentioned a Jedi zombie. I didn't expect to be Vader. <laughs> That's it, boys. That's the stream. All, all like six minutes of killing zombies and dying to zombie Vader. We now have Nightmare Mode. No, yeah, that's fair, Odin. Is it just gonna give me like a longer timer this time? Saying, hey, hey, I'd rather not. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna like close out the game because, like, hey, hi, honey. But no, that was the first one of uh, the Star Wars zombie duality. So I'm gonna go into the second one now. Because apparently the second one's supposed to be longer. It takes place on um the forest moon of Endor, where um the Imperial troops have like their bases set up. Hi, I'm a huge nerd. <laughs> if you didn't know that. <laughs> so I'm assuming like the last one, it's not gonna really have like any menu prior to the game. It's just probably like, gonna like just thrust us like right into the game. So I'm not sure how well the audio is gonna play off in this one. I still don't understand the concept. <laughs> there are wars. <laughs> in in space. That that's it. <laughs> Between the stars. That that's all you get. That that's that's the context. Betwixt the stars. Trek is better. I'm actually not a Trekkie. I I'm not gonna bash on it because I don't wanna ensue that the Star of Wars Trek politicking fights in my chat. Um, give me just one moment here. Because I need to set up my game capture to catch this version of the game. There we go. I 
I also need to like go back and like watch um Stargate because that was one thing that my grandma got into, and then after that she had passed, my sister got into it. Ronald Weasley. Fuck it. Okay, who played the wrong Weasley? Thanks, babe. I will. That ass, though. Yeah, I'd say it's time to run. Tree ornaments. <laughs> Thought it actually came from the game. Oh yeah, there's gonna be like a... A Fort Anglia with a giant spider on it next. Death Trooper's the outpost. I don't know what's going on with my, um, my chat tonight. Like, the emotes and everything are like very slow, and I don't know what's going on with that. This is at least a bit more um, cinematic, I guess, compared to the first one. Uh, me shooting zombies then getting killed by zombified Darth Vader. So not much. We're now into the second game. Uh, five minutes. And then I think the nightmare mode has like a timer of 15, so I think it totals like a 20 minute experience. Oh yeah, that that's way better voice acting than the last game where it was like text speech and you tell what it was. Nice. No spoiling, I still have to get through that. Alright, pack. Get some sleep, take your meds, get food, get water, do you have to? Have a good night. That ass though. Okay, it looks empty, but is it though? I need a gun. That flat concrete ass, you mean? Yep. Oh, 
Okay, with the package. Eh. Not much there. Oh yeah, compared to the last one, you can definitely tell this is like a huge upgrade. Again, this is all free. This is just somebody's, like, fan project that they've done over on, like, itch.io. Or itch.io. However you say it. Plays the Walking Dead theme. Uh, yes. This is all just one giant fan game. And I think I might have just broke the game. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, I shouldn't be seeing textures like this. Well, you said they go to the antenna. <laughs> so yeah, this is an indie fan game that uh, somebody just put together. It's based off of the novel, well, both the novels for um, Death Troopers, where it's like a zombie outbreak happens on... Oh, yeah, I definitely should not be out this way. I, I might have just broken the game. We didn't see that. That didn't happen. We, we totally didn't just boundary break the game. Nobody tells he... Uh, uh, fuck, what's his name? Seashows? I, I don't know. The, the guy that does boundary break. Accidentally breaks the game while streaming it. <laughs> jump off into the void, will I just, like, delete myself from existence? Is that a thing? Uh, it's been good. Um, got a lot of editing done. Been actually getting over this cold that I've had for, like, two, almost three weeks now. This man pain in the ass. So, finally at the end of that. Oh, hey, more tree ornaments. Man, Christmas around here must be dark. Um, are you a zombie? Don't be, it's it's good. Like, I've been editing clips, I've been being productive, cleaning the house, like, kind of getting over, like, all the sick that I've had. <laughs> Me and the boys just hanging out. <laughs> they hang out ornaments. Oh no, they zombified the Ewoks. I mean, lore-wise, Ewoks are fucking terrifying, but like, they can't just zombify them, man. They're cute and cuddly. I think it's weird though that like the zombified Ewoks are just like watching as What's with the run though? <laughs> it's not like a sprint run, it's like a like It is it's it's a very femme gay run like nope 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 not touching that Like, speaking of somebody in the LGBTQ, like, that, that is a very fan gay run of just, like, that, that's like the Velma run, with, like, her hands, like, tilted upwards, like.
Okay, can I equip the gun though? Actually, wait. Can I just run past them? Because if it's a handful of them, I should be fine. But if it's like a whole horde, then then we'll pull the gun out. Unless it's like Walking Dead zombies, where it's like, oh yeah, hey, there's nobody there. Oh yeah, by the way, now there's suddenly just like a whole horde of zombies for no reason. I don't know how to equip stuff. Take all the ammo. Red speeders, no idea. Probably crash into a tree somewhere. Okay, so I can't jump. Oh, okay. That just kicked me out of the game entirely. I, I thought like hitting escape would like, you know, pull a menu up since like this was like a huge overhaul from like the first game. That's like, oh yeah, hey. Just gonna fully actually exit the game out. <laughs> Triggers my my PTSD. <laughs> Well, round two of totally not breaking the game and going through all the cutscenes again. <laughs> round two, fight. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm like glad that like all this is like kind of clearing up now. Like I'm no longer feeling as congested and I can kind of like goof off even more. One downside though is like we have to rewatch all the cutscenes. Again, I'm sorry. You're okay, really. You didn't do anything, really. <laughs> Not to finish him. I'm all right, really. I think it was kind of a mix of both, considering that I do work in healthcare, and then also, um, at the time of getting sick, Nemi was over. Hi, honey. But no, Drew's also on the TikTok live. Okay, you know, the Ewoks being infected makes more sense as to why the, like, the zoom-in camera is at, like, ass height, because the Ewoks being, like, just tiny, uh... Ah, oh, fuck, what's, che what's Chewbacca? I can think of what, like, species that he is, but you know what I'm talking about. You gonna blame yourself for random hit scarf for the car? No. Eh... Is what it is. Oh no, but um, side note though, I did go on Amazon and like made like a wish list of like a Rasputin cosplay. It would only cost me like a hundred bucks. It's literally just everyday clothes. all day like he's actually asleep like where Alex usually sleeps like near the green screen the craft is severely damaged you are heading towards the H-16 square space grid Adel sector
I miss you too. I miss me too. Your vital signs are okay. You're still I would totally make that joke too. Welcome to Ender, the forest that moon of the gas giant town. <laughs> Local population he wants. Threats to the Empire Zero. So the real question is though. Is how did the zombies get on Endor though? The large antenna is capable of transmitting into space. I don't detect any signs of life. The whole area looks empty. Hi, honey. How's your day, Ben? When you and the boys just want to hang. So I have actually been uh, listening to like the audiobook of, um, uh, what is it? Like the original Death Troopers, but then I think like the prequel. I think that takes place on Endor, right? Or no? All I know is that like the Blackwing virus somehow infects somebody. And then they're trying to like maintain it, and then it just goes like this typical zombie stereotype route of like, oh yeah, hey, the zombie outbreak kind of like just starts going everywhere, and like everybody's like trying to figure out like how the hell to get uh, off the like main area that's infected. Just listening to it, it seems very dead spacey, and kind of has a lot of parallels with the Dead Space animated movie, which is kind of um, how the sprawl got the infection for Necromorphs. It's a real thing in the comics. Okay. Yeah, because it was also a real thing in the novel first. I think the novel came out first in 06, and then I think the comic followed suit after. And then I know in Ahsoka recently, in the past year or so, um, they have zombies now as well. Which I think the the Death Trooper Stormtrooper class was actually made after a few survivors explained what had happened with the zombie outbreak, if I'm right. Like I said, I don't fully know if I am or not, just because I haven't gotten all the way through the audiobook as where I am. I think I'm like halfway through the book. Um and I have not read the comics of this. So, like, the 3D animated, like, cartoon series where, like, Anakin is her, um, her master, and he's, like, teaching her. Where I'm at in the book, like, um, wait, did they? Okay, I was not seeing what button I had to push in order to equip the gun. Because if I can at least Very equip strange. it... I don't detect any living life forms, but I can see from your helmet that these guys are dead. Okay, Q is equip, R is reload. Okay, got it.
Okay, no, dummy, keep the gun out. Yeah, no, again, like, I'll, I'll have the gun out. But only actually use it, like, if we're dealing with, like, a whole horde of zombies, not, like, just one at a time. Grab all the stuff. Yeah, honey, I I would like at least a day to, like, just get you into Star Wars. Like, starting off with, like, the prequel series, and then... Or no, the original series, the prequels, and then uh, the current series. That's also one thing I want to do, is I just want to have, like, a movie day, like, with my dad, my brother, and my sister, and just, like, just do, like, a Star Wars marathon. Just see how well that goes. Because I remember when that they came out, like in the early 2000s with uh, the prequel series that we would always go to uh, my grandma's and like watch them on like VHS because they came out like in quick succession I, th I think like a year or two apart from one another okay note to self do not hit escape one two three four five six seven Eight, nine. Okay, I'm not going crazy, right? Like, the one, like, crosshair is, like, almost completely blacked out, right? Okay, that's fair. He's kind of looking at me funny. Just the way that he's walking is like if he's drunk. And I, I can't unsee that. Oh, there he is. the Wilhelm scream. Okay, but my thing is how did they end up on Endor, though? Not the texture's just breaking. But no, again, like, for a fan project, this is, like, very well made, especially with it being an Unreal 5. The second game is definitely the, the better of the two. <laughs> Day 69 of me asking, show me the titties redeem. That's it. That's all you get. <laughs> Still can't jump. Which means if I can't jump, the zombies can't either. No, climb the thing. Climb the thing. The color run, though. Okay, you see, now's a good time to pull up the gun.
But no, um, DB, if you could, like, send me the titles of, like, the Star Wars comics that, like, feature the zombies, like, that, that would be great, greatly appreciated. That way I could, like, find those later on. Um... Watch no mouth. There's gonna be like another like zombie Jedi somewhere. Project I seven at one A, known as sickness, as the sickness. Sorry, I uh, was an infectious viral agent created through the powers of the Sith alchemy. Oh, okay. Yeah, because in the book, it's like the main uh, big bad. It's like he's immune to it. And even the doctor that's like trying to help all the patients that are like slowly dying of like the zombification, she's like, You aren't showing any signs. Why though? Like everybody else is like coughing up blood, like vomiting, like having seizures, convulsing. Like, the, the typical, like, zombie, like, um, infectious thing, where, like, your body's trying to fight it off, but it can't. Go to ATST. Glamis? Yes? No? That crotch though. Nope. For those who are still alive, 3578. I know I said it wouldn't survive a zombie outbreak, but I'm pretty sure it would survive a zombie outbreak if the zombies already had helmets on. You know? They wouldn't be able to, like, bite at me. They wouldn't be able to chomp. Why wouldn't you keep the gun out like that in the first place? Why don't you just aim down sight at all times? Zombies everywhere, man. And you didn't even have a load, what the hell? Okay, this stormtrooper deserves to die. He's just... Why? Didn't aim down the site when you entered the room. 
took her eyes off the target. I've been researching what's going on. Daniel, hold on to the gun. I think it's the same thing it wasn't even loaded when you entered the room. It's very interesting. Due to a breakdown, the ship is forced to stop. They find an abandoned star destroyer, the Vector, and decide to inspect it for spare parts. The Vector was completely deserted and seemingly destroyed, and inside was a threat far greater than anyone expected. A virus. The whole crew was infected. They all died. But in reality, none of them were dead for long. They all came back to life as beasts thirsting for human flesh. The ship was found some time later by a lone explorer who unfortunately did not return. Now the ship should be adrift here in the outer rim. The virus is spreading, and it's here too. First period in Star Wars Legends novel, uh, Death Troopers. As I did, Star Troopers infested by the Sith Plague. Oh. By the Sith Plague, uh, dating back to the days of Old Republic. Uh, they were later canonized in the mobile game Star Wars Commander as Death Troopers through a limited time campaign released in 2014. Okay. Again, solid fan game though. That was the in, in the book. They find an abandoned star destroyer, the Vector, and decide to inspect it for spare parts. The Vector was completely deserted and seemingly destroyed, and inside was a threat far greater than anyone expected. A virus. The whole okay, so like a valve infected. or something? They all died. But in reality, none of them were dead for long. They all came back to life as beasts thirsting for human flesh. The ship was found some time later by a lone explorer who unfortunately did not return. Now the ship should be adrift here in the outer rim. The virus is spreading, and it's here too. Oh yeah, he's gonna definitely come back. He he's making zombie-like noises, man. I don't like that. Oh, hi. Nope. Take him in the face. Need a gun. One zombie, no issue. Inside, one zombie, big here. issue. I think it's the same thing that happened to the crew of the Imperial ship, Purge. It's very interesting. Due to a breakdown, the ship is forced to stop. They find an abandoned star destroyer, the Vector, and decide to inspect it for spare parts. The Vector was completely deserted and seemingly destroyed, and inside was a threat far greater than any <laughs> expected. Mode. A virus. The That's fair. Was but Odin, how's your night? None of them were dead for long. They all came back to life as beasts thirsting for human flesh. The ship was found some time later by a lone explorer who unfortunately did not return. Now the ship should be adrift here in the outer rim. The virus is spreading, and it's here too. What, I still can't ask how your night's been? Can I help you? You're not zombieing very well, you know that. I'm afraid to move because I'm pretty sure the second I move, he's gonna attack. It's like your one friend who's drunk, just uh huh. 
Uh huh. Okay, buddy. We got gotcha. you. I love how this isn't doing anything. This just proves the melee attack just doesn't do jack shit. Well, run away. Can I just close the door on him? Just, just leave him in the room. Does he just like not notice me? Okay, bye. Just nope out of the situation. <laughs> Have you heard about our Lord and Savior Jesus? No? He, he's blocking the way, I can't get in. I need a gun. Wait, can I go back and get my gun? Nope. I, I think I might have soft locked myself. Oh, shit. Nope, lock the door, lock the door. Nope, lock the door. Oh, shit. Nope, nope, nope. This is not going as planned. Nope, close the door. Close, close the fucking door. You could not be as slow as a zombie when you grab stuff. That'd be helpful. You know it's bad when they give you a gun. You know it's bad when the melee doesn't work. <laughs> like I was sitting there for a good minute or two just like using the melee attack and didn't do anything. A zombie, but don't see a zombie. Be cool in first person. It would be. Be scary in first person, that's for sure. Okay, stop putting the gun away and keep it out. There are zombies. Gasic, but okay. Just turning on the electrical current. The computers at this outpost could be useful for calling for help. Just be safe. No one might have looked. They both feel like sleeper zombies and then just like start clawing my feet. Again, still, just, the fact that this is a fan game just still blows my mind because of how well it's done, though. The only trooper that can hit a target. Hi, I'm Scruffy. I'll be your trainer today. This is how you shoot zombies. Step one, aim. Step two, pull trigger.
Can you open the door? No? Okay. Hello, zombie. Seriously? It's like the last one, just stuck in the door. I I'm hitting E, it's not letting me like, just close the door on him. I don't want to see a minigun. This is how you completely decimate a zombie. It's where it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> just pulls a chain gun out and just immediately starts going ham. I bet there should be more of this room. Aside from just like one clip of ammo and a zombie. to like build suspense like even though I now have over 300 bullets I guess or blaster lasers I guess I, I don't know man <laughs> did I miss like a key card or something like I don't know how to access like an inventory of any kind yeah so did I but I I guess not I like how, um, the lightsaber actually has to, like, have a battery pack in order to actually, like, function. Kind of like, um, the energy sword in Halo. Oh, that was another thing. So, in the comics, um, I think it was one of the librarians in Star Wars. I think she was the librarian in the third film, in the prequel series. In the comics, she later redesigns both a blaster into a lightsaber and then shoots it at Vader. Only Mandalorians have bullet guns. I, call me a Mandalorian then, I guess. I don't know, man. Still waiting on that saber, though. Okay, I hear a zombie moaning. That door is locked. This game is not giving me hints as to where the fuck I have to go. Can I do anything with you? And I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. It's not letting me do anything. That bulge, though. Black Crystal Saber. Yeah, I, I think I might have just softlocked myself because I, I can't do anything. I can't hit escape because then it'll just boot me out of the game into uh, a completely black screen. That, that's the only thing I can interact with is the, the pipe. I, I've killed all the zombies I can at this point in time. But aside from, like, things like that, like, it's definitely a good, um, like, starting point for, like, a, a Star Wars zombie game. If Star Wars actually did release, like, their own zombie horror game, I would totally buy it if it was something like this. Because this is just a fan game, and I'm already, like, gushing over it because I'm such a nerd. This is a prototype. No, this is a fan game. Um, somebody actually made this. It's on their itch.io page. Um... I know that this is going to be up on YouTube later, so if somebody is watching this later on YouTube, I'm going to link um, the Ichio page for this dude, because I'm now actually following him on there. But no, um, definitely worth it. 
I would say. Like, if Star Wars did a real uh, zombie game in Unreal Engine 5 for both console and PC, I feel like this would be, like, a smash hit. So it's fully out, not a beta. Yeah, it, it's fully out. It's not a beta. This is somebody's uh, ideal fan project. This is not a beta test. This is not, like, an alpha test. Um, this is a full release of, like, somebody's, like, side hobby, uh, pretty much, as, like, a fan game. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm completely stuck. I, I can't do anything. I'm gonna have to back out the game. <laughs> With these bugs? Okay, Bethesda. I mean, hey, man, like, it it's one dude as, like, a side hobby thing. Like, if it was, like, a full-scale, like, production team like Bethesda, then yeah, I could I could see, like, where there'd be, like, some gripes. But, like, this is only one dude. Like, in his spare time. So I will say, like, I will give credit where credit's due, and that that's definitely due for, like, one dude, like, in his downtime, like, making all of this. Like, I feel like that deserves at least some sort of, like, praise to, like, some degree. Even going as far as, like, doing the voice acting and fixing it to where it's like, oh yeah, hey, by the way, and then, like, sprinkling, like, little lore bits of, like, the purge from like the novel ah oh, there we go Whew. but no um since we're soft locked i think that's all i can do aside from just stand here and just move the camera around They do a lot. They do. They, they definitely do a lot. But you also think, like, um, the fun pimps also take into consideration, like, what fans want as well. I think they also have, like, something on their Reddit for, like, Seven Days to Die and stuff like that as well. Um, but no, they have done a lot in the past few years as well. As far as, like, quality of life stuff, updates. Um, I think they went from, like, two different, two different alpha versions in the past two years. Um, but no, I am gonna... To see if we can just like yeah okay so i'm actually gonna read out because like i i can't do anything i'm, I'm stuck we're, we're just we're just sitting here we're just chilling we're just vibing with the, the the dead dude underneath the door but no um with that being said though i am gonna read out somebody really quick and then maybe get back into doing uh psychonauts I saw a YouTube trailer from the four seven days to die. <laughs> uh, that that reminds me, like, there's so many mods out there for seven days to die, though. Like, my friends, are like, hey, let's like remod seven days, and I'm like, no, because a lot of our time last time we had modded the game was like all of us modding the game more than we actually played the game, and I, I'm not that dedicated. I do not have that much time on my on my hands to just be like, oh yeah, hey, I can just like try getting this to work and troubleshoot it and quality of life test it. No. Like. But no, again, we are going to be bringing out somebody really quick. Um. Anyways, I will try to find somebody we can read out to really quick, though. Um, but if you're new here, be sure to follow. Um, we're going to be reading out, and then I am going to end the stream, then re uh, go back into the stream and probably do something else. But no, till next stream, guys. Peace out.